Whoa! Do you know what color this is? It's one of my favorite colors in the whole wide world. Blue! Yeah! Blue is a calming color. Like the sky on a clear day, making everything look peaceful and serene. Let's learn how to spell blue. B-L-U-E. Do you want to try spelling blue together? Great! B-L-U-E. Blue, 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 blue. Oh, wow, hey, here are some things that are blue. Blue berries. Mmm, mmm, so yummy. I love eating blueberries. What else? A blue shark gliding through the ocean. Hey, some butterflies have beautiful blue wings. The planet Neptune, which is a beautiful shade of blue, and the sky, vast and blue. Hey, did you know that blue is considered a primary color? What are primary colors? Well, primary colors, which include red, blue, and yellow, are special. We can mix them all together to make all of the other colors. They're like the magic keys that unlock a rainbow of colors. I love blue. Do you like it too? Yeah, it's sparktacular. Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. No jumping on the bed. Jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. No jumping on the bed. Jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. No jumping on the bed. Jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. No 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 jumping on the bed. One little monkey still jumping on the bed. He fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. stars how you doing oh I'm just jumping I love jumping jumping is good for your body you want to jump with me yes. awesome let's jump three more times you ready one two three Whew. wow that was good what was that the letters yeah I love letters. You want me to jump on them? Yes! You think that if I jump on them, they'll make sounds? Yes! Are you sure? Okay, here we go. Let's see if this works. Whoa, whoa! Wow! Did you hear that? Oh, that was cool. When I jumped on it, it made this sound. Wow! Say, if we jump on all three, it might make a word. You want to do it together? Yes! Okay, are you ready? Let's do this. 
Eh. T- Little stars. I jumped three times and it made three different sounds. The first sound it went k. The next sound it went ah. And the last sound it went t. How about we put those together? K at cat cat. That word spells cat. Little stars. I am having so much fun spelling out and jumping on these letters with you. Wow. Have you seen this color? It's one of my absolute favorites. Red, yeah. Red is vibrant and full of energy and passion. It's the color of strawberries and fire trucks. Hey, let's spell red together. R E D. Ready? Let's do it together. R E D. Should we try it just one more time? Perfect. Here we go. R E D. Red. Here are some other things that are red. <gasps> Strawberries. Oh my goodness. They're so sweet and delicious. And fire trucks rushing to save the day. Hey, have you seen a fire truck before? You have? And what color are they? Did you just say red? You're absolutely right, little stars. Fire trucks are red. But what else is red? Hmm. The cardinal bird is red. It's bright against the green leaves, huh? You know, Mars, which is one of our planets, is known as the red planet. And what else is red? Something that smells good. A beautiful, blooming red rose. Ah, oh, they smell so good. Hey, did you know that red is also a primary color along with blue and yellow? These colors are the building blocks for all the other shades and hues. Amazing, isn't it? I love the color red. It's actually one of my favorites. Such a wonderful color. Hello, little stars. Do you know where we are? We are in the heart of the rainforest. And today we're going on an extraordinary journey through the dense green canopies to meet some of the most fascinating animals that call the rainforest their home. Are you ready to venture into the wild? Okay, let's go exploring. Whoa, did you hear that sound? What could possibly be making that sound? I say that we make the same sound and see if the animal comes out. One, two, three. E, E, E. Let's do it one more time. E, E, E. <gasps> wow, this is a toucan. Hey, let's spell toucan. T, O, U, C, A, N. Toucan, and they fly around the rainforest. Toucans are known for their large, colorful bills which can grow up to more than half of their body size. Despite their size, these bills are lightweight due to a hollow structure. They are native to the rainforests of Central and South America. Toucans play an important role in their ecosystem by dispersing fruit seeds throughout the forest. Wow, that was pretty cool. Now let's say goodbye to the toucan. Bye toucan, ee, ee, ee. <laughs> I'm going to teach you the difference between uppercase letters and lowercase letters. Are you ready? Let's go! Uppercase, lowercase, uppercase, lowercase, uppercase, lowercase. Now stop. Let's go! Uppercase A and lowercase A. Uppercase B and lowercase B. Uppercase C and lowercase C. Uppercase D and lowercase D. Uppercase, lowercase, uppercase, lowercase, uppercase, lowercase. Now stop.
this bright and cheerful color? Yes, it's yellow. Yellow shines like the sun, bringing light and happiness wherever it goes. Hey, let's spell yellow. Y E L L O W. Can you spell it with me? Great. Y E L L O W yellow. Hey, here are some things that are yellow. Bananas, yummy in my tummy and so good for you. What else is yellow? Hmm. The warm sunny sun that lights up our day is yellow. Oh. Cute little ducklings are also yellow, waddling around. They're all yellow as well. Hey, did you know there's something that we can eat that tastes really sweet and bitter? A lemon, yeah, lemons are yellow. But what else is yellow? Hmm. Sunflowers, standing tall and proud are yellow. Hey, yellow, a primary color along with red and blue, can mix with other colors to create multiple shades. I love the color yellow. How about you? It's simply sun shiny. <laughs> hey, this is the matching game. Are you ready to play? Let's go. Hmm. No. Hmm. No. Yeah, that's right. Hmm. No, no, no. Yeah, that's right. No. No. No, no, no. Hey, that is correct. No, no, mm -mm. what about this one? Yeah, you're excellent. No. No. No, no, no. No. Yeah, that is great. You did a wonderful job. I'm all alone, singing this song. Wishing that I had friends to sing along. Nothing to play, nothing to do. I'm feeling kind of blue. But then... In walked you. Oh hi, I'm Miss Sarah Sunshine, and I like your style. I like your style. And I love your smile. Hey, what's your name? And what games you play? Oh, that's my favorite too. And what's your favorite snack? Carrots and hummus. I love that. You know I'm having so much fun, and the day has just begun.
have you noticed this color? It's incredibly fun and very lively. Orange. Orange is a mix of red and yellow, capturing the excitement of red and the joy of yellow. Let's spell orange together. O R A N G E. Are you ready to spell it with me? Great, here we go. O R A N G E. Orange. Here are some things that are orange, like oranges. Mmm, yum. Juicy and full of vitamin C. But what else is orange? Hmm. A blazing sunset painting the sky is orange. Hey, there's something really little that can fly that's orange. Do you know what that might be? Did you just say the monarch butterfly? You're right. They love to flutter around in their beautiful orange colors, huh? Do you want to pretend to be a butterfly with me? Great. Flap your wings like a butterfly. Wow! Are you an orange butterfly? <gasps> Me too! Wow! Hey, here's another thing that's orange. Pumpkins! And these ones look like they're ready to be carved. Wow! What else is orange? Hmm, something healthy? I think so. Orange carrots! Crunchy and munchy. Oh my goodness. Hey, did you know that orange is a secondary color made by mixing red and yellow? I love the color orange. Kind of one of my favorite colors in the whole wide world. Orange, you glad we got to talk about orange? <laughs> I like this word. Are you ready to step on the letters with me? Yes! Great! Here we go. First letter to step on. Wow! It made the sound P. Can you do it with me? P. Great job! Now let's step on the next letter. Eh. Eh. That sound is really cool. It's the letter E sound. It sounds like this again. Eh. Do it with me. Eh. Great job. Hey, that is the letter T. And the letter T makes the T sound. You want to step on it? Okay, I'll step on it. Ready? One, two, three. T. See, I told you it makes the T sound. Now, let's put all of it together and see what word comes out of it. You ready? Here we go. Eh. Whoa, I think I know this word. Little stars, it's the word pet. Say, do you have a pet? You do? That's a really cool pet. My favorite pet is my dog, Bailey. She's a yellow lab and she's such a cool dog. And she makes this sound. Woo, woo, woo. You wanna do it with me? You do? All right, here we go. We're gonna act like Bailey, the dog. Roof, roof, roof. Bow. <laughs> awesome. Little stars, we learned cat, we learned box, we learned pet, and guess what? You guys did an incredible job today. You see, when we do it together, we learn forever. Now, I say the next time we do some harder words. What do you say? Yes! Oh, I like the spirit. All right, well, until next time, I'll see you later. Bye. Hey, little stars. Uh, something's missing. I think we were supposed to read a book today. We have to use the three magic steps. First, close your eyes and then clap three times. One, two, three, and now say, book appear. Oh, there it is. Uh-oh. Maybe we have to re-say those things. Okay, close your eyes, clap 
three times. One, two, three, and say, book up here. There it is. Ah. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, this book has donkeys on it. Oh, they're so cute. Hmm. This must be the front of the book. This is the back of the book. And this is the spine of the book. The big words are the title. And the little words are the author and the illustrator. This book is called The Stinky Wonky Donkey. Oh my gosh. Well, let's open it and see what it's all about. There was a cute young donkey, so cute and small, who loved every creature from tiny to tall. I love every animal, of that there's no doubt. I love them so much, Dinky Donkey called out. <laughs> there's Dinky Donkey. Really, said Wonky, which do you love best? Which animal do you love more than the rest? I don't really know, we Donkey confessed. I've never thought which I love more than the rest. She heed and she hawed and pondered a while. She shook her wee mane, then with a big smile, reindeer, she said, and donkeys that bray stand feeding warthogs out of their way. I love hippopotamuses, zebras, and goats. I love beautiful horses with smooth, glossy coats. With all of my heart, I love lambs too, camels and antelopes and cows that go moo. And as Wonky listened, his face was deadpan, but he was devising an outrageous plan. Those animals that you love so much, the reindeer, horses, camels, and such, they have one thing in common, and it's not their moves. Can you guess what it is? They all have hooves. You love hoofed animals with all of your heart. That makes you hoof-hearted, he said, feeling smart. Hoof-hearted, hoof-hearted, without a doubt. I am hoof-hearted, Dinky called out. Her daddy then brayed aloud happily. Is your granny hoof-hearted? He asked with glee. Off Dinky trotted, and he was back in a tick. Granny says she's hoof-hearted, then had a giggling fit. <sighs> Laughing uh... some more, Wonky then said, Go and ask Mommy, she's out in the shed. Away Dinky ran, then back she darted. Yes, Daddy, she said. Mommy's also hoof-hearted. I'm glad she has admitted it, he said with a guffaw. Dinky's dad was now rolling around on the floor. Then he slowly got up saying, oh no, no more. And he headed outside through the stable door. Catching him quickly before he departed, Dinky asked, Daddy, are you hoof-hearted? Well, Dinky, said Wonky, to tell you the truth and to answer your question, here, pull my hoof. Poof! Oh my goodness! That was a silly book! What did we learn from Little Dinky Donkey? We learned that he loves all of the animals, especially animals that have hooves, just like Dinky Donkey and his family. Wow, what a great book!
Color. Isn't it refreshing? Green, yeah! Green is the color of nature, symbolizing growth and renewal. It's everywhere in the grass, trees, and many of our favorite vegetables. Hey, let's spell green together. G R E E N. Can we do it one more time? Great! G R E E N. Green. <laughs> hey, here are some things that are green. Leaves rustling in the wind. So peaceful. Those leaves are green. Hey, I see something hopping along. Do you know what that is? Frogs. Frogs are green. Hi, little froggies. Oh, they're so cute. Hey, do you want to hop like a frog with me? You would? Okay, ready? Let's hop like frogs. Hop, hop. I'm going to hop from this lily pad to that lily pad. Hop. And from this lily pad to that lily pad. Hop. Oh my goodness, this is so much fun. Oh, there's something else that's green. Hmm. <gasps> Crispy, crunchy cucumbers. Those are super green on the outside and on the inside. Hey, did you know that Captain Dom loves his mighty green smoothies? And so do I. I love green. Hey. I think I heard another sound. Did you hear it? <coughs> Whoa! What do you think that animal could be? <coughs> hey, how about we make the sound together and we'll see if the animal comes out? One, two, three. <coughs> <coughs> hey, the animal came out and it's a gorilla. Hey, let's spell gorilla together. G O R I L L A. Gorilla! Wow! Gorillas are the largest primates in the world, and they live in family groups led by a silverback who is the dominant male. They primarily eat plants and consume up to 40 pounds of vegetation a day. Wow! 
No wonder why they are so strong. Wow, that gorilla was so cool. Let's say goodbye to the gorilla together. Can you pound on your chest with me? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Goodbye, gorilla. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There it goes. Whoa, have you seen this majestic color? It's simply splendid. It's purple. Whoa, purple is a royal color, often associated with mystery and magic. Whoa, it reminds us of grapes and plums. Hey, let's spell purple together. Are you ready? Let's do it. P U R P L E. Purple. Now let's do it one more time. Ready? P U R P L E. Purple. Great job, little stars. You know how to spell purple. Oh my goodness. Here are some things that are purple. <gasps> Grapes, sweet and juicy. Perfect for a snack. And lavender <sighs> with its soothing scent. <sighs> and ooh, eggplants, nutritious and delicious. Did you know that the earth makes something really sparkly and beautiful in purple? You did? Did you know that those things are called amethysts? Aren't they stunning? Wow. Oh my goodness. Hey, did you also know that purple is a secondary color created by mixing red and blue <laughs> like a magic potion in our color palette? I love the color purple. What about you? Well, great minds think alike and also love the color purple. Hey, little stars, guess what? We get to learn how to sign our numbers together in American Sign Language, or ASL. So let's get started. Our first number is number one. Can we do number one together? One, great job. Now, can you show me how to do it all by yourself? Whoa, that was really good. Now let's sign the next number. The next number is two. Let's do it together. Two. Can you show me how to sign the number two? Good job. Now let's keep going. The next number is three. Can we do the number three together? Three. Good job. And can you show me how you can do it all by yourself? Good job, number three. The next number is number four. Can we sign it together? Four. Hey, can I see you do it by yourself? Awesome, number four. And the next number is number five. Let's do it together. Five. And can you show me how to do it by yourself? Oh my goodness, that was awesome. Five. Now the next number we're gonna do is the number six. This is how you make the number six. Can we do it together? All right, six. Now can I see you do it by yourself? Oh my goodness, that was awesome. Number six. Now the next number we get to do is number seven. Seven. Can we do it together? Seven, good job. And can you show me how you do it all by yourself? Oh my goodness, good job, number seven. The next number we get to do is number eight. Let's do it together, eight. Hey, can I see you do it by yourself? Oh my gosh, number eight, you're so smart. The next number we get to do is the number nine. Let's make number nine together, nine. Now, can you show me how you do it all by yourself? <laughs> yeah, nine. And the last number we get to do is number 10. This is how you sign number 10. You just shake your hand, 10. 
Can we do it together? Awesome! Shake number 10. Now can I see you do it all by yourself? Oh my gosh, you are so smart! Number 10. Great job! I loved learning how to sign our numbers in ASL together, and I can't wait to sign more with you soon. Bye bye Are you having so much fun in the rainforest? I'm definitely- Whoa! Did you see that swinging through the trees? Hey, let's put on our binoculars to see if we can find it. Do you have your binoculars on? Great! Hmm... There it goes again! What could it be? Hey! It's a chimpanzee! Let's spell chimpanzees together. C H I M P A N Z E E Chimpanzee! Wow, that was a big word. Good job spelling it with me. Chimpanzees share about 98% of their DNA with humans. That's us making them our closest living relatives in the animal kingdom. They use tools for various purposes, such as using sticks to extract termites from mounds and leaves to soak up drinking water. They love to climb and swing in the trees with their friends. Whoa, that little chimpanzee really knows how to swing, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, so cool. Let's wave goodbye to the chimpanzee. Bye, chimpanzee! <laughs>He had a farm, and on that farm he had a barn, and in that barn there lived a pig, and the piggy made a sound just like this. Now old MacDonald he had a farm, and on that farm he had a barn, and in that barn there lived a cow, and the cow said, it's my turn now. Like this, of course. They name the name the name it. 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 Now, old MacDonald, he had a farm, and on that farm, he had a barn. And in that barn, there lived a goat, and the goat stood up to clear his throat. It went. Now old MacDonald he had a farm And on that farm he had a barn And in that barn there lived a chicken Come on, get close and listen <laughs> Old MacDonald he had a farm And on that farm he had a barn And in that barn, whoa, what was that? It's the barn cat. It meow, went meow, 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 meow. Old MacDonald had a farm, and on that farm he had a barn, and in that barn there lived a donkey. Now this sounds kind of wonky. Yeehaw, yeehaw, yeehaw. Should we step on it? Yes! Awesome! B-A-X Whoa! 
I say we do it faster to see what word it spells. You ready? Here we go. B -a -x. B -a -x. Box. It spells the word box. Little stars, we learn how to spell the word box. Whoa, <laughs> whoa. Check out this color. It's so pretty and playful. Do you know what this color might be? Pink? Wow! Pink is a color that represents love and kindness. It's the color of cherry blossoms and cotton candy. Mm -mm. Hey, let's spell pink together. Ready? P I N K. Pink. Let's do it one more time. P I N K. Pink. Hey, here are some things that are pink. Cherry blossoms blooming beautifully are pink. And flamingos standing on one leg. Whoa, can you be a pink flamingo with me? Wow, you're really good at balancing. Whew, what a great flamingo. <gasps> Ooh, and cotton candy, sweet and fluffy, is also pink. What else do you think might be pink? Hmm. <gasps> Little piglets. Oh, so cute and cuddly. Theirs are so pink. Pink can be made by mixing red and white, showing us how colors can soften and change to create something gentle and lovely. I love the color pink. Hi, little stars. Welcome to Miss Robin's Playhouse. This is where we come and learn to play together. Would you like to see what we have to play with today? You would? Okay, let's see. <gasps> Look! It's a school of counting fish. Oh, and we've got a big narwhal. See the little horn? They all look so happy. Do you think we can count these fish together, little stars? Let's start with the number one. Where is number one? <gasps> there it is. First, we'll put the purple number one fish on the narwhal's back. Where is the next fish? Would it be this one, the number three, the number five, or the number two? That's right, number two. So we've got one, two. I think the next fish we'll need is number three. There he is. Hi, number three. Oh, good. We're doing a good job of balancing. Now, what comes? We've got one, two, three. What comes next? Would it be fish number five or fish number four? Hmm. That's right, fish number four. Let's see if we can make it balance. Ooh, this is so tricky. We did it, little stars. So we've got fishy number one, fish number two, fish number three, and fish number four. But oh, they look like they could fall over. Do you think we could put the next fish there? We have one left, fish number five. Will we balance it or will they all fall down? Oh no! Well, let's try again. So we've got fishy number one, fish number two, fish number three. What comes next? Fish number four or fish number five? That's right, fish number four. Ooh, will we keep it? Oh, I don't know. It's pretty shaky. We did it. So we've got one, two, three, four. Here's fishy number five. Will we be able to balance it? What? No. We did it. We did it. Let's count all together. 
Dish number one, two, three, four, five. Now let's see if we can count backwards. Five, four, three, two, and last but not least, one. Great job, little stars. We counted all of the fish. We counted them forwards, one, two, three, four, five, and we counted them backwards, five, four, three, two, one. I had so much fun playing with you. You did an excellent job of playing the counting game. Maybe you can practice counting on your own. Until next time, keep learning and growing, little stars. Bye-bye. Whoa. Hey, we haven't seen this color yet. What color do you think this is? This is white. Have you ever noticed how pure and clean the color white is? Yeah, white is the color of snowflakes, soft and delicate. It represents peace and simplicity. Hey, let's spell white together. W H I T E. Now, can we spell it one more time? Yeah. W H I T E. White. Here are some things that are white. Snow is white. It blankets the ground in the wintertime. So magical. And clouds. Clouds are fluffy and light drifting across the sky. Those are white. Hey, this one makes a sound, doesn't it? Yeah, these are swans. Swans are graceful on the water and they make a honking sound like this. Honk, honk. <laughs> Can you honk with me? Honk, honk. <laughs> Great job being a swan. Hmm, what else is white? Milk is white. It's cool and refreshing. And the moon is white, glowing softly in the night sky. Have you seen the moon at nighttime? You have? Isn't it beautiful? White is unique because it's the presence of all the colors of light combined. Hmm, where's that next letter? It's right there. Say it again. It was behind you. You said what? Something big is behind me? Wow! Have you ever seen a letter like that one? Come on! <laughs> and can you guess which letter this is? Yes! You've got it! It's the letter C! Are you excited to learn how to pronounce it with me now? Yes! Great! Okay. The letter C sounds like this. K. Now, can we try it out together? Okay, here we go. K. Awesome. Now, knowing how to make the K sound with the letter C helps us spell so many words. Words like cat and car and cake and cup. And each one starts with the magical sound of K. C. Hello everybody, it's Mr. Dumb and I got a special guest for y'all in this alphabet party. Can you take a wild guess at who it might be? That's right, little stars. It's the playful letter P. Now, are you ready to learn how to say it? Yes! Perfect. Huh. Hey! Did you see what I did there? Okay, well look, the letter P makes this sound. P. Now let's all say it together. P. That's great. Now on the count of three, we're gonna do it three more times. You ready? One, two, three. P. 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 I must say, you guys are really quick learners. Mastering the p sound is your passport to a world filled with fun, with words like p, p, 
penguin or p pumpkin and even p pirate. Arrgh. <laughs> and one of my favorite treats of all, p pancakes. And each of these start with the letter P. Little stars, you all rocked it today. You mastered the letter C, the letter H, the letter P. Now I'm curious, which one was your favorite? Yeah, you can like them all. I absolutely love them all and I love learning with you. Now, how about we take this adventure further? Next time we can dive into some more new letters together. Now, how does that sound? Yeah! Awesome. Well, I'll see you later. Take care. Whoa! Hey, this is our head. We use our head to think. We can also use our head to nod. Can you nod? Nod. Can you shake your head like this? <laughs> Great job. Shake, shake, shake. We can also use our head to go side to side to side to side. On our head, we have eyes that help us see and ears that help us hear and a nose that helps us smell and a mouth that helps us smile and eat and drink food. Next, we have our neck. Our neck connects our head to the rest of our body, our neck. And now we have our shoulders. Sometimes our shoulders go up and sometimes our shoulders go down. And sometimes shoulders go up and down, up, down, up, down. <gasps> Look at this color, so strong and mysterious. Black. Black is the color of the night sky, deep and endless. It's the color of space and the color of shadows. Have you seen your shadow before? Yeah, they're pretty cool, huh? Hey, let's spell black together. B L A C K. Black. Now let's do it one more time. B L A C K. Black. Here are some things that are black. The night sky, vast and inspiring. Ravens with their glossy feathers. A black cat, sleek and graceful. Hey, do you want to pretend to be a cat with me? Great! Let's meow together. Meow, meow. Oh, we're such cute little kitties. Meow, meow. <laughs> but what else is black? The depths of space unknown and limitless. Wow, yeah, space is huge. Oh my goodness. Wow, hey, did you know that black is unique because it's the absence of light. That means there's no sunshine on this color. It represents depth and sophistication in the world of our colors. I love the color black. Do you find it as fascinating as I do? Yeah, it's absolutely captivating. Oh, hey there, Mr. T-Rex, how are you doing today? Hi, Dom. That's great. <gasps> oh, ew, Mr. T-Rex, <gasps> your breath stinks. Mr. T-Rex, when was the last time you brushed your teeth? Uh, a year? A year ago? Oh no. I know what we need, little stars. Do you know how to brush your teeth too? Look, it is okay if you don't, I'm gonna teach you how. And we're gonna start with Mr. T-Rex. First, Mr. T-Rex, you're gonna need a toothbrush. Next, you're gonna need your favorite toothpaste. This is my favorite toothpaste. It's coconut flavor. Ooh. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is put some toothpaste on your toothbrush. Mmm. And now, in a circular motion, going up and down, you're gonna brush your teeth. Like this, Mr. T-Rex. Mmm. I'm brushing my teeth. Let me see you brush your teeth. Hey, that's a really good technique. Thank you, Captain Dom. 
Now I feel very clean. <laughs> now, it is very important that we brush our teeth. You brush your teeth after you eat a nice snack, a meal, definitely in the morning, and definitely before you go to bed. As always, be clean, be smart, be kind, and that's what makes the sun shine. Right, Mr. T-Rex? Hey, your breath smells fresh.